Hi friends, it's here Ellie. So I have an unboxing and you guys already know what it is. It's the Mystical Diamond Arts uh, Butterfly Blanket. But before I get into that, I want to show you a couple things that I've gotten that I haven't shown on my channel. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I ordered uh, Wee Wax from Laura. This one was the Frosted Peppermint. It smells so good. I smell it. <laughs> thinking that you guys can also smell it I've done that have you guys ever done that before when someone's talking about the smell of something and then you like take a sniff <laughs> as if you can smell it so anyway this one was from a couple weeks ago frosted peppermint I um, love it this is her old uh, packaging she's now using these this this one so first of all um showy sends a little bit of candy and the blue raspberry jolly rancher is like my favorite jolly rancher flavor ever what's yours What's your favorite? So I got one of her new scents because, okay, hang on, because I wanted to see her new packaging. Sorry, I'm messing around with my lighting. So this one is Lavender Honey. It's a really nice, light, clean smell. Like I, I love, huh, I love the smell. Both of these, love them exactly what I was expecting when I got them and um, very, very pleased. Thank you, Laura. Um, so with this order, she also sent me these two samples and they're both so good. Um, if you guys have been around here, you know, I don't like, I, I really try not to over exaggerate over anything. I just, I feel like that, you know, just kind of cheapens anybody's praise when they over praise everything. Does that make sense? So, um, both of these, um, both of these smell so good, um, very i don't know how to i don't know i don't know how to describe the sense of these but they're really really good these are exactly what i um was expecting both are my favorite types of smell um i usually like like eucalyptus mint scent and i also like lavender scent and just like clean laundry scent you know so these just exactly what i was expecting thank you so much laura love them love them oops i love them lose that one okay i'm just gonna stick that here oh, okay so okay one of my favorite things about an unboxing video is my melly machete okay so this one is from mystical diamond art um mystical diamond art is a u.s based company i'm gonna try not to chop off my hand don't need that anyway um it's a u.s based company she ships from new mexico I ordered this one last week. I told you guys when I ordered it. I ordered it last week. Um, so she sent it out like a day or two after I ordered it. Um, I think she shipped it out on Friday. Or I don't know. Saturday maybe? I have no idea. Anyway, today is Wednesday, November 25th. It's the day before Thanksgiving. And it's here. So I was working on another Mystical Diamond Dart. Uh, while I was waiting for this, I saw my shipping that it was supposed to be delivered today by 7 p.m. Uh, but I was working on my other Gloria West that I have going right now, and I finished my section, so I thought I'd, you know, refresh my tracking as we all do, you know, <laughs> check our tracking information like 5 million times um, when we're waiting for something. I'm so excited for something. Okay. So it's here. Let me just make sure that there's nothing. Okay. So her, I like this box. I think it's so cute and pretty. Um, her box comes inside of another box, as you saw. And I don't, yes. Okay. So I do remember. Um, her boxes before came wrapped in plastic like this but this one did not i am assuming that that is because she is now checking every single kit before she um sends it out let me let me clarify that i know that she is checking her kits um every single one before she sends it out and because she is doing that i assume that that's why there's no they're not wrapped in the plastic anymore all right hope that made sense um so this one is butterfly blanket and this one is just a little bit bigger than the other um indian maidens from gloria west i love i love these girls so so much 
and I will get every single one that Amy releases. Okay, so the other two that I worked on, well, I finished Path of the Dreamcatcher, and I'm working on Legend of the Wolf. Both of those had 30 colors. This one has 37 colors. Um, beautiful, beautiful colors. That's what it is. And it's a 52 by 70, I think. Yeah, 52 by 70. Oh, let's do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's beautiful. Okay, so her toolkits are basic. Um, but really, if you're just starting diamond painting, this is all you need right here. This is all you need. Um, wax, tray, pen. Boom. Basic. That's all you need. I love that she keeps this basic because most of us don't even use these, right? So she saves her money and puts her money into getting more art and, um, you know, improving her quality. Okay, so I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to be a little bit more thorough with this one just because I have had experience with the other two from Mystical Diamond Art. Um, one, I like this. I really like this sheet. I know that not all of them come with it. I wish that they did, but um, I know that one of mine didn't come with it. I mean, it is what it is. What I'll end up doing on that one is like throwing the this piece, like slapping it onto my copier and copying it so that I can kit up because I kit up with the symbol and the DMC um, <clears throat> on my container. So I need that. Um, what else? So as I mentioned before, this, this piece here is called Butterfly Blanket and it is licensed artwork from Gloria West. So um, that that's awesome. I think that that's great. This one here, right off of the bat, something that I see um, that I don't usually appreciate are all of the guide circles. Um, I hope that the, let me zoom you in a little bit here. So you see this, like, I, I just don't appreciate that. Um, my, uh, Path of the Dreamcatcher did not have guide circles. Right now I'm working on legend of the wolf and as you see no guide circles on these ones here um and this is this is what i prefer I, and i don't i don't necessarily like this but I'll zoom you back out they are not you know yes they're guide circles and yes this is going to be like a lighter color here um let me zoom you out a little bit and then um, up here, this is going to be a lighter color, you know, with those guide circles, but they're not awful. Um, they're not awful. So I might work on this one pretty soon just to see what it's going to look like here. Uh, I have worked on one, not from this company. Uh, I worked on a diamond painting that had really awful, dark, super thick, um, guide circles. And that was freaking annoying. Um, it's up on my wall right now, and I can see them, you know, and I'm standing about seven, eight feet away from it. I can see the guide circles from where I'm standing. But this one here, um, since they're not as thick, maybe that won't be an issue if the drills cover them. Um, so let, let's see this. Um, her paintings have usually been true to size. So everything that I've seen is true to size, and I don't usually measure anything, so eh, whatever, you know. So 70. Um, 52. Perfect. Um, what else? What else? What else? You have your legend and key up here, then you have one also on the bottom. Whoa, other way. Okay. Um... Sorry about that. Okay, so this girl is beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's going to be amazing. Um, what else do you guys want to know? So this is from Mystical Diamond Art. She's branded up here. It's a poured glue canvas. It is slightly sparkly. 
it is sticky for your drills. The symbols have all been very clear on the ones that I worked on. I think the one that I had issues on, I've already spoke about that, so I'm not going to repeat myself over and over again. Um, it'll be easier for you to see the symbols on this here. So here are the symbols that she uses. Doesn't look like anything looks too awfully similar, so that's good. I don't, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, the only one that might be is like here, but nope, that's different enough. So you got your B and E, but that's different enough where that shouldn't be an issue. Um, no, I think this is going to be amazing. It's going to be great. I love the rainbow by Kira, all the pretty butterflies, her face, her hair, her head, um, dress feather things. All right. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, cool. Ah, yes. See? Opened for quality control and her, um, Amy's initials. Um, okay. So. So I like that. I don't, you know, if she is going to take the time to do that, I appreciate that. So, I'm not going to go through all of the drills here, uh, just because, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not about that life, so let me bring it down here. Okay, um, those look good, right? Zoom out, oop, 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 okay, amateur, all right, those look good, these are great, uh, these are like the drills from Path of the Dreamcatcher, I've noticed that the drills on, um, Legend of the Wolf are different, these ones are just like the ones on Path of the Dreamcatcher, I like that the DMC is right on here, that's great, I mean, not that it matters either way, um, but... I like it so I'm just gonna assume that all the colors are here let me let me count okay all right whoop. Uh, okay. 37 yep everything is here everything looks great I'm excited I'm excited I'm excited I will I am um, I just told myself no more new starts um but that was a lie because I think I'm gonna be starting this one pronto so anyways guys let me know have you guys tried mystical diamond art what have it what has your experience been I think that they're great I I appreciate everything that she does over there um I'm sure this one will be fine it'll be great it'll be just as beautiful as the other two um and I'm just so giddy and excited guys I mean there's nothing like a new and beautiful diamond painting so um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful rest of your week and um i will talk to you guys later bye